from the outdoor that has appeared in Hardbart, Business Week, TechCrunch, Venture Beat, and Giga Om. It's Larry Chiang. CS 183 VC. V is in venture, C is in capital, C is in computer science. So CS 183 VC is where I'm previewing the lectures that are all about timing. There's gonna be a sequence of 20 to zero lectures that are all gonna to go towards timing. And people, venture capitalists, talk about how timing is critical. People talk about how luck plays a huge part of it. So all 20 lectures are going to specifically focus on helping us in our careers handle, manage, uh, cajole, and engineer and hack timing. So that's what CS183 VC Venture Capital is, is, is letting the environment around us support us and help us with our timing. So I've broken down the incredibly genius minutia that I've gotten from a half a dozen mentors. The derivation of CS183 VC comes specifically from lecture 19 of CS183E for edit. Lecture 19 is retire on the job. And there's nothing better than to retire on one high paying job where you're a software engineer or you're a forward deployed engineer or you are some sort of engineer who has got their Fortune 500 job down to uh, a simple, simple practice where in 35 hours a week. So you're retired on the job and you're able to dabble in another hobby. So many people moonlight doing something and the job that you want to moonlight is an engineer. So that's why timing is incredibly helpful and important and that's why CS183VC is a spin out of Lecture 19 CS183E because while we're retired on the job for an engineering job, we want to consult and dabble and do investment as far as not investing our own cash and our money, we want to invest lines and lines of computer code. We want to help other CS majors do sales and distribution of an existing product. That's how we will invest. That's how we will build equity. You don't need money to make money. You need, you don't need, you definitely don't need VC to make money, which is why it's called CS183 VC, because you actually need computer science way more than you need VC. What you need are a handful of signature recipes that are from CS183E, where we're resuscitating a cadaver. So CS183 VC rests on five courses that are free. And when I say Stanford University, that should not intimidate you. All these classes are on YouTube. So the five classes that CS183 VC rests on are these Engineering 145. If you wanna grab a pen, these are all free. Engineering 145 is hashtag ENGR145. There's a Peter Thiel class on uh, startup. It's called startup. It's CS183S, that's class number two. That's also free. CS183B is in boy, was taught by Sam Altman 2012 winter. CS183B, it's hashtag CS183B. Followed up by another VC, see a trend here? VCs teaching people for free. CS183C is taught by Reed Hoffman. Yes, the non-employee co-founder of of PayPal, the non-employee co-founder of his own company, LinkedIn, which later he went and worked for, but he had a slew of other non-employee co-founders. So he was retired on the job, investing, and then participating as an active advisor. So that's class number four, CS183C, that was taught by Reed Hoffman. All those lectures, he's a VC at Greylock, all those lectures are available online. Last class is Engineering 145. I know I said that twice, but Engineering 145 has been taught for over 10 years. Tom Byers, Tom Kosnick started it with uh, Randy Commissar. Oh, surprise, another VC taught. So we wanna take all these genius things that VCs have taught us and have tried to teach us, we wanna to try to then make it actionable. We wanna to try to make it digestible. We want to have a do to it, which is what CS183DO is. It's doing something with some of this genius stuff. 
that's what CS 23 BC is meant to curate where you're doing a little bit and you're curating a little bit you're doing and you're taking notes and you are I've got a notebook right here that I'll be sharing in the next segment in fact that's a great segue into the next segment so here are my notes it's is crossing the chasm crossing the chasm is incredibly challenging because a lot of stuff dies and if you don't time the chasm jump correctly your company will die your company will die and timing the execution uh, take a screenshot of this because it's right there for the picking so what your notes are meant to do for CS23 VC is you are meant to do a checklist where you're augmenting timing. You are engineering timing, but for money. So there's a concept, write this down please, it's called treasure management. This is the one thing that screws up everyone's timing is because they're under the gun for money. Being Money is a horrible, horrible master. So being under the gun of needing money will make you make horrible decisions. Oh, a hummingbird. Cool. <laughs> so hummingbirds uh, want to see because they're all interested in being on the farm too. Money's a horrible master. Money's a wonderful servant. So that's what treasure management is about. So within CS23 VC, the thing that you want to get onto the right side of is the right side, the correct side, oh, pun intended, right side, is right side of the venture capital equation, the right side of the chasm. Let me repeat that. You want to be on the right side of the venture capital equation. Now, write this down next, tweet it at me, text it to me at 650-283, 650-283-80. Zero 08 cross the chasm from the right that was that screenshot so so this is the chasm okay so this is the chasm so this is the chasm and everybody tries to cross from the left you actually want to cross from the right that's what they do teach you at Stanford Engineering about some things that are innovative so innovation and the adoption of things that are innovative uh, is what kills startups dead. So cross the chasm from the right is a huge part of CS183 VC. CS183 horse is the extrapolation of after CS183, CS183B, CS183C. These are all VCs that are teaching us how to do entrepreneurship. But what if an entrepreneur taught a VC what VC will eventually be? That's what CS183 horse is, is the extrapolation of all these asinine letters. CS183A, CS183B, CS183C, CS183VC. So horse is like that basketball pickup game where you need to match shot for shot and then that's how you play horse or pig or matching shot for shot. CS23 VC, since it's about timing, is you are matching shot for shot as if you're playing a game of horse. And I'm not gonna walk you through how to play horse. I'm sorry if you're foreign and have never played horse, but horse is a basketball shooting game where you wanna match shot for shot. Now, how to match shot for shot is to write down something and then do something. Write some, down something and then do something. That's what CS23 VC, uh, that's pinnacle to that. So these are my notes and what CS23 VCs meant to do is to meant to help you with, with timing and turning ideas into execution. Ideas into execution. Inside the innovation chasm, stuff dies before it reaches Main Street, which is why you want to cross the chasm from the right. The foundation for these things is five standard engineering classes on startups, CS183, CS183B, CS183C, Engineering 145. I say Engineering 145 twice because it's that significant. The problem of venture capital is that if you're an associate, you only judge. And judging doesn't really help so much as uh, augmenting and accelerating a startup. There's also a chicken egg issue of limited partner money. Basically, LPs aren't gonna give you money until you've got a track record of helping startups. VCs 
majorly gloss over details in their lectures. That's what CS23 VCs meant to do, is to delve into the timing aspects of these different, of these different uh, concepts that VCs will introduce. And there's something called the C3PO effect, which is somebody just tall and pretty, which is what a VC really is, because LPs try to figure out, oh, we'll just give money to the tall, pretty person. C3PO, very tall, very pretty, completely useless. That's why I did, before CS23 VC, I did the R2 D2 VC. And the person who filmed it, Jason Pretorti, is actually a VC, Bessemer. Now he's at AngelList being designer in residence. But I'm getting ahead of myself and these aren't name droppings, these are mentor mentions. I'm gonna quickly rifle through all 20 lectures so that way you get a sense for for uh, you get a sense for the entire flow of CS23 VC venture capital and all the all the different timings so this is lecture one where we're establishing uh, the ideas that we've heard from all the different classes all the different classes here um, to be parlayed into execution. So engineering 145, engineering 245. Now don't let these intimidate you even though they're free online at YouTube and you don't have to be a Stanford kid to get this. These are all taught literally at the eighth grade level. There is no, there are no big words. In fact, some of the biggest words I use uh, are some of the biggest words that are present and it's because I'm a dork and I read other people's things, but most of the lectures, uh, both mine and other people's for all these different classes, they're all literally done at the eighth grade level. CS23B is how to start a startup. CS23C is growth scaling, hack printing. Uh, I'm not even joking. Uh, and all these VCs, they don't actually go and delve into specifics. They just invite 19 of their closest friends, or 30 in some cases, and they are done on a lecture by lecture, guest lecture. So it's literally a shotgun of information. That's what CS23 sees meant to do is to delve deep. For example, CS23 lecture nine, write that down for deployed engineer. If there's any more genius of a phrase, it is that, AKA a salesman for deployed is before they pay you. Engineer is you. So when you're a for deployed engineer, you're actually getting paid to deploy engineering stuff. Genius, right? That's lecture nine, Peter Thiel, winter 2010, CS-183. So Guagua Guacamole breaks down the detailed genius things that a VC flippantly will tell us, and then we need to go execute. Engineering 145 is co-founded by Randy Commissar, who helped start up uh, Kleiner Perkins Caulfield Buyers, KPCB. Ever heard of them? They used to be great. <laughs> Kidding, they're still awesome. You're going CS23 to GP. It's not a PR resume building VC job. It is actually having to do a lot of real work. Goodness. This is lecture two, and it builds upon so many genius things of Lecture 5 and 6 from Engineering 145. Lecture 3 from CS183E. Lecture 5 from CS183S. These all funnel into Lecture 2 of CS183VC because timing, there's nothing more timely than a dollop of money and income, aka revenue. And I'm pointing towards CS183EUBM Get it, horse? They haven't done EUBM yet. I have. I rolled it out for you. And the bicycle. That's from Lecture 5, uh, CS183S. These are all footnotes. These are all genius. This is Lecture 2. Completely ridiculous stuff. So, Rakakulous Sanskot. Look at the video where Nikolai Tesla gets screwed by Silicon Valley VCs. Now, Nikolai Tesla was born in the 17 or 1800s, and VCs weren't really around, but they sort of were. He was dicked over by Westinghouse, who then got dr just drilled by uh, 
by the guy who started GE, um, Morgan. Morgan Stanley Morgan, he started GE, General Electric, and he totally just dicks over Nikolai Tesla, the engineer. So we're no longer going to get screwed over. So we're actually going to be VCs. We're going to be the ones who are doing the dicking. Y equals zero, okay, is Peter Thiel's Lecture 5, CS183B. And you should be scared that I memorize this stuff because it funnels right into CS183VC, which is a lot of times when an engineer does work, he gets paid zero, zilch, nada. And fund money, I'll expand on this in chapter, lecture three, your fund money comes from another Stanford class called Stram GT 353. Stram GT 353. That class, free also. So lecture four is about a, getting a base. Remember, we're all talking about timing. We're trying to get a base plus commission. We're talking about a base camp for code, a base pay for you as a CS major, and base revenue for your startup. Timing is so difficult to ace. Because remember, most VCs and PEs, private equity people, they basically give you enough rope to hang yourself with. And then they take over your thing. So ever heard of a founder getting fired from their own thing? That's when a VC or a PE gives you enough rope to hang yourself. And then they make money off of your bad timing because you put in a bunch of sweat equity. Remember, we don't even own the stock at a lot of these companies. The stock that we started for our own company is actually given back to us. Think about that. We don't even own stock in the company. We're on a on a four-year uh, four-year vest with a one-year cliff. Not good. That's what CS23 is solving is timing because I care about your timing. There's a catch-22 as it relates to so many things and timing is where oh I need a better job and I can't get that better job till I get more experience or I want to be a VC but I can't be a VC until I've invested and I can't get that money until see where this is going right so the catch-22 just beats a bunch of cliche problems and the solutions are PRPRPI stealing eggs these are all hashtags thrust drag and the 10x effect these all help for timing because catch 22 uh, is a killer and catch 22 in of itself is actually genius because you have to fly 22 missions in world war one before you get to retire and guess what everybody every pilot dies at mission number one two three or four they never make it to 22 that's where a catch 22 comes from this is when to touch the money, when to pass through money, when to do a Schedule C. Schedule C is money in, money out on your taxes. And if you're curious about some of these tax issues, it's under CS183 tax and CS183 law. This diagram is CS183 EUBM. So this is lecture six, CS183 VC, and it talks about money and engineering up a business model, which is hashtag CS183 EUBM, engineer up a business model. This is from lecture five, engineering 145, is engineering up a business model. I think it's five, 10, and 11 under engineering 145. Lectures five, lecture 10, lecture 11. Write those down. Timing, this is the bicycle model. And bicycle is lovely because the Wright brothers, they didn't get venture capital money. They're engineers who sold bikes to fund inventing an airplane. This isn't my words or my theory. This is 1306 West Third Street. There's a hashtag for that too. It's in the movie, it's in the movie, it's in the book. The Wright brothers, they haven't made it in a movie, and it's a bike. It applies to us for chapter lecture six because when we're doing a startup, there's no need and no trust. So battling no need and no trust helps us all with timing. So we wanna do the bike model at an industry conference, which helps for timing for whatever we're investing in as engineers. APIs, arbitraging application protocol interface calls. 
it's a ton of value. It's so easy to do. And when you sell somebody on an API, explain to them what an API is. Everyone's talking about AI, okay? You're trying to time yourself with AI. The market's going to eat you alive because AI, not ready for business yet. But if you put a P in the middle of AI, you get API. An API hasn't even yet begun to take effect and positively affect the economy. So we want to arbitrage application protocol interface calls. There's a ton of value in that, and that's what Lecture 3 CS23 VC is about, is arbitraging API calls. Genius. Now, this is the prequel. This is you. So in the... Sharpie area, this is the chasm that you're trying to cross. This is you, and what you want to ask, because we're trying to game timing, is we want to ask, what prequel is this? So once you realize the prequel, that's this part, okay? This is the prequel. The prequel already has Main Street cat crossed, so you want to DJ in what prequel is this what sequel is this so this is you okay the sharp area that's engineering 145 that's cs 183 b that's some half-baked quarter-baked startup now if you've ever studied dave mcclure yes the same dave mcclure that started 500 startups he talks about a concept called half-baked so being three-quarters baked is lecture eight cs 183 vc what's three-quarters baked it's crossing the chasm from the right. Are you getting sick of me saying this already? Because all I do is say cross the chasm from the right. Lecture 9 CS 3 VC is about timing parades. Remember, VCs never want to start a parade. They want to join a parade. And we bet there's a parade to join somewhere and an after party. This is the most mind-numbingly simple thing to do when you're a founder, is to do an after party uh, for a real-world conference that's from Lecture 6. R2D2 VC is the basis for trying to automate and trying to be an engineer and where engineers are the new form of venture capital. You don't need money anymore. You need engineering talent. Engineering talent is worth 10x. This isn't me saying this. This is Guy Kawasaki saying this. The valuation of a startup team for every MBA, doc a million dollars for, for every engineer, add a million dollars. So if you've got engineering founders that are promoting, you're going to do a lot of business revenue subroutines, such as UTWM PPM. You should be scared that I can just rolls off right at my tongue because it's engineer up a tidal wave of momentum, perpetual promotion machine. LTMVP. That's from lecture six, and that's less than minimum viable party. That's also lecture nine, CS23 VC. LCRRM, Larry Chang reverse rebate model, where you're priming the pump for revenue, and then doing lead generation. If you're an engineer and you can do a little bit of lead gen, big, big, big ups. C3PO's okay, not so much. That's the old form of venture capital. Lecture 11, CS183 VC. How do you feel when an econ major sells you on CS stuff? That's the world. The answer, startup death spiral. That's from Steve Blank. He taught engineering 245 as a spin out to engineering 145. Engineering 245 took place in the design school. I know this is a lot of inside Stanford issues. But these matter because Engineering 245 is a sequel to 145. Engineering 245 has this as an issue, startup death spiral. And if you look closely, it's bit.ly s blank for Steve blank 710, bit.ly s blank 711, bit.ly s blank 712. Lecture 11 solves startup death spiral. Problem is the VP of sales timing is automatically horrible. Most startups that die, die due to startup death spiral. Steve Blank still hasn't solved this yet, and I have, and that's what Lecture 11 is meant to do, is Lecture 11 is letting you know that there's 20 lectures of CS183 VC that solve startup death spiral. 
I call this Lecture 11 because Chapter 11 of my mentor's book, What They Don't Teach at Harvard Business School, talks about failing forward, which is what we're trying to do here. Fail forward. Do you bring sand to the beach? I argue yes and no. So when you say, oh, don't bring sand to the beach, you're talking about, you know, do you go bring a woman to meet women at a bar? So I say you sort of do, and that's what helps you with timing, is you, most people end up waiting for a partnership. They end up waiting for a marketplace to develop. They end up waiting for a contract to close or waiting for a VC to buy stock or waiting for a press or an analyst to ink your product as the best new thing ever. No, no, no. So the solution is you actually do want to bring sand to the beach by focusing on how venture capital ties into computer science, ties into sales. That's the three-prong effort. That's lecture 12, is a dozen genius signature, street smart signature business recipes. That's lecture 12, CS23 VC. Gua, gua, guacamole, there are 36 recipes. If you just type in gua, gua, guacamole, uh, how to go from crasher to VIP, uh, how to make money while you're making money, HT, EUTWM, PPM, uh, all under Gua Gua Guacamole, they help you with timing. Gua Gua Guacamole is also Lecture 2, Engineering 145. Lecture 14, Losers of a Business Plan Competition. Okay. Doing a business plan is in and of itself not very useful but planning is useful so you want to do instead of a business plan competition you want to do a business model competition so that's where you're on a team that's failed they should want to be a VC they network and do corp dev like a VC and what you're trying to also tie into is an external API. There's that phrase again, application protocol interface. So, so you want to try as VCs, Lecture 14 is about taking losers of a business plan competition and then helping them be winners. So you want to first tie into selling it before you build it. Everyone's out there building stuff and most of the stuff that we're building, it's already in existence. This is the money shot. All the things that are counterintuitive and the things that work out for us. That's lecture 15. Sell it before you build. Paul Buchheit, uh, Bitly, P. Buchheit 710. The non employee co founder concept is some of the most genius things that have never been talked about. So that's non employee co founder. So many companies are started by a VC who is then themselves not an employee, thus non-employee co-founder. Non-employee co-founder. You should probably pause and write down everything I just wrote. Chapter 17, lecture 17. No, I'm not turning this into a book. That's not a Freudian slip. Dumbing down sandbagging for success. DDSS works best if you look smart and dumb it down. It's CS23 putty, but it works for CS23 PUSE, which you'll need to Google. So DDSS is all about helping you and me with timing. CS23 VC Lecture 18 is ROTJ, Retire on the Job, which is a expansion of ROTJ, Retire on the Job, CS-183E, Lecture 18 also. I wish you tons of luck with uh, your distribution effort and taking notes inside of CS-183VC.